good. That's some weird. Payment terminal thing. Now I got two of these things. Look. We'll do the same computer. I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> we'll see that. There's another payment terminal. gotta be some good. I mean, look at all those USB 3.0 ports. Something for retail business. Alright guys, we're back. This is the monitor that I found at the bottom of that dumpster. Stuff was dropped on top of it, so it's pretty messed up. But, let's see if it works. I got a power cable right here. So let's plug this guy in. See if it works. Kind of expected. Let's see, all that junk that was thrown on top probably ruined it. It probably was working when they threw it away. Oh well. A couple hours went by. It's all the same garbage. Ugh, why is this thing not focus? Focus, dumb thing. Cooking stuff. Up in there. Nope. Alright.
codex scanner. HP charger. Grab that. What else? Cambridge Soundbird, uh, Soundworks, so I love her. Thing is actually pretty nice, but it uses some stupid proprietary thing. It's a turntable. There's a Galaxy S5 charger, because it has that USB 3.0, um, like USB thing. They were like the only phone that used the, the Galaxy S5. Something good. Grab that. It's a trunk. Where's the phone that goes with that battery? It's just some junk. Huh. Galaxy S5 version. Guys, oh look, fucking Sony Handycam. <laughs> now I got two of them. This is literally like the same camera I'm filming with right now. Oh, it's a little damaged. I think they threw it. Whatever, still gonna grab it. Anyway, as I was saying, this place used to be really good, and now it's there's like nothing here anymore. I mean, there's stuff here, but it's like all crap. Like look at this giant ass TV, man. It weighs an absolute ton. Is that a computer? That's a subwoofer. Xbox right there. Yeah. Xbox 360. Ugh, sorry. Maybe I'll grab it. Maybe not. 360s aren't worth jack shit anymore. What's this? Some piece of tablet thing. Pentium 4 PC. Actually, I'm looking for a computer with an AGP slot, so let's see if this has that. Yes, sir, and all the capacitors look good. Yeah, we're going to take this. It's really complete as well. I'm gonna grab that. One of my uh, one of my buddies who also oh, let's get a, a Soundmaster Odyssey card as well. That might be worth a couple bucks. One of my bears has another YouTube channel. I'm actually looking for an AGP computer, so I'm gonna hook him up with that one. He needs to test old video cards and other components. So we're going to grab that. And then of course, the best find is the Sony Handycam. But I, either they threw it or someone tried working on it, because look, the 
the body of it's like all messed up. Yeah, I think someone was messing with this. You could see the internals. I'll update you on this one. Alright guys, here's the update. So I was able to snap this back into place. Like, the circuit boards are no longer visible. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug this guy in and try charging it up and see if it works. This is actually a better model than the camera I'm using right now. And I think I have this exact camera somewhere around here. Maybe not. I have a bunch of these Sony cameras. I find them all the time for some weird reason. USB port right here. Plug this in. I don't think it's charging. It's supposed to light up. Oh, shit, there we go. It's charging. Come back to this later. Alright guys, here's an update on this camera that I found earlier. So, I was able to snap the body back into place. Uh, if you remember before, this was all exposed. Because they threw it in the dumpster. So, I uh, just snap that back into place and I've let it charge now for about five hours and take a look it actually works but the screen has some lines going down it and it's flashing something and I don't know what it's flashing because the screen's messed up I don't know if that's why they threw it out or if it happened when they threw it but I believe it's gonna work I got this SD card here that I actually found as well. I found this inside of some cheap like Chromebook laptop. It's a 256 gig Samsung Evo, which is still a pretty uh, expensive card. Which we're gonna install in this because this has a micro SD card slot. The camera I'm recording with now has a full-sized SD card slot, so this is a newer camera. So I'm thinking is using this camera to keep inside of the house and I don't know how that's working. That thing does not yeah, let me insert the memory card and like install it at a weird angle that was weird. Let me put this down. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the camera I'm filming with now in my car to film when I'm at the dumpsters and I'm gonna leave this camera downstairs to film like the updates and stuff if it works so let's see here All right. reading the card 44 hours of video that's pretty decent we should uh, format that card format memory card yes so yeah, this thing seems like it works great. This is actually a knockoff battery I found out. It's not an original. And it's the extended battery, but we'll see how that actually works out. Alright, and now I'm gonna switch to this thing for a quick test video. Hey guys, I'm on the camera I found today. Um, this is the camera I usually use. It's a handy cam, the model number right there. So now I got two of these things. Uh, well, I actually have even more of these um, that I found in the past. I don't know why. I guess they're just popular cameras and people don't really use these things anymore because you can just film on your phone. But yeah, this is a much older model. Um, you see it has the full-sized SD card, not micro, which doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, so... Thing looks like it's working great. Quality's pretty nice. This one, those focus is weird sometimes. It's blurry a lot of the time, but it works. So I'm gonna keep this one on the road, this one on the road, and I'm gonna keep this one at the house to film the updates with. Alright, guys, tune in next time.